Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What go on with people? Hope everybody know okay. Hope everybody know right. I wonder if you believe in a miracle. We now talk about the miracle sardine and the miracle king makele so man not throwing a pot and a cook at night time. No, 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 no. I don't think I have no problem with that. But hold on a bit. Hear me a talk about now. Sometimes in our life, our blessing comes early. Sometimes they come late. But they always come and they're always on time. Keep praying. Have faith. Always believe and wait miracle to happen. Have yourself a wonderful day. Do good for others is not a duty, it's a joy. For it increase your own health and happiness. Happy, 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 happy Wednesday. Yes, people, today is Wednesday. Every day above drunk is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. People, one only person thing I go under the news. Remember one time when sardine can usually pop? I saw the news pack this morning. You understand? I'm a commissioner laying mouth and him friend in my chat. One whole heap of nonsense. And we are going to dig right in that. But before we reach right there, sir. But before we reach right there, sir, we have some update. And we have some little news. And more of the people them here want to go on for a walk, go on to you know. Because I see them kill the photographer. And I like Nick Photo Rex. So then they can't find them body. Them find the one here body. And then find him friend too, you know. Because him friend get shot. But everybody doesn't talk about the photographer alone. I saw people turn, man. But you know, once you come on this platform, you know, we chat about everybody. But you walk one power, walk one now. Elderly man who slit the throat of his 67 year old wife may have been mentally ill. Said the people them of the community and the police. You are going to go on here, people. The 69 year old man, Theodos Gregory, who is accused of cutting the throat of his 67 year old wife, may have been suffering from mental illness. This is one of the leads being pursued by the Clarendon police in the brutal slaying of Pamela Gregory in Lionel Town in the parish. Let me tell you, oh, tell me that, people. Glenford Miller, yes, head of the Clarendon police. I'm a matter of fact, Glenford. I'm going to tell the people them who are going to go on and also make the people them know say they're not supposed to turn a blind eye to certain situation. Okay? Um, we are also picking up that um, the, the, the husband is actually suffering from some mental condition. That is what we haven't confirmed as yet because we know that we need some um, mental record, medical record to actually prove this. So that is where it stands. The investigation is ongoing. It goes to show that um, people just need to find ways and means in which they can actually settle their domestic um, issues. So we are imploring anyone, once you see persons displaying any sign that's showing that there are some issues um, related domestically, it doesn't matter that um, you are not, it doesn't affect you immediately. But the mere fact that you see it and you're in the neighborhood, be your brother's keeper and report these matters to the police. Let us intervene to see if we can actually prevent a murder or stop some crime from happening from early. That's a wag one, pa wag one, right there, so. Hold on a bit there now, people. You wag one. Mr. Three body lay down in our one fridge. I mean, the people that wonder how them reach right there, so. We have information for the halls, you know. You wag one, pa wag one, now. The police at least three people drowned in St. Anne's on the weekend in separate incident. A man drowned at Flavors Beach in Runaway Bay on Sunday. He has been identified as 19-year-old. Harris Jarrett, a hotel worker of what town in St. Anne's. 4 p.m. Mr. Jarrett and his friends were in the water when he got into difficulties. A man went in to assist and he also encountered a problem. They were taken ashore where CPR were administered. And don't ask me people if they mock this thing. I don't know. The people them just come out and I do what they're supposed to do. But what line of people? I don't want to feel like sad so the journey in tapping. Superintendent Dwight Powell. He might talk to you right now. You understand? Because remember, Mr. Wilson, when they look for, they find him body. He was going for, was going for that. No. Sometime in the afternoon, he indicated to his brother that he was going for a swim. He was not seen after a while, and an alarm was raised, and a search uh, was mounted for him. The search continued into Monday, July 4th, 
uh, sometime about 8 o'clock, when local divers from the Hera discovered Mr. Wilson's body in a section of the river. I just want to use this opportunity to exhort persons, seeing that we are in the heat of the summer, uh, that persons who are endeavoring to use the many seas and rivers in Santa uh, to take the requisite precaution when going to these areas. And especially if the era is unregulated and without lifeguard. Let's say before we reach a town, we have to stop at Portland because the police, the murder one at Portland. Yes, people. I mean, no, no one know what go on, right? So, so here we are going now. Man allegedly attacked cop with knife, fatally shot. Yes, and him dead. Dead, 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 dead. A man who was earlier given $200 by a policeman was fatally shot after he attacked and injured a cop with a knife. Yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. In the incident which occurred yesterday morning in Snow Hill in Portland. Can you believe it? From yesterday this happened. And I know nobody can come tell you where the man near me now. Nobody seems to know the man. Anyway, people. It's important that about 11.30 a.m. The police was at the front of a house doing work when a man dressed in a black pants and a black fake Adidas slippers approached and asked for direction of Port Antonio. So anybody know anybody have one black fake Adidas slippers? Him dead. Yeah, man. When you come, come identify him, no man. Take your body and go and go bury it or something. So we can continue, people. The man in the fake slippers approached and asked for direction to Port Antonio. They talked briefly as the man was about to leave. The police, in a kind gesture, took a parcel of money from his pocket and gave the man $200 for his taxi fare. Yes, people, that is what the police do. The man walked away and the cop continued working. However, a few minutes later, the police heard footsteps approach him and turned around to see the man with a long black angle silver blade knife in his hand. The amount of money he take out are really $200 again, the man. The man come for us. All the money the man come for. But little did he know. Little did the man know. This man had a machine. And he never get three machines that point in the sky and shoot off a cloud. No, 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 no. So knife bad man attacked the cop using the knife to stab at him. The police raised his hand. At this time, they say a police all knowing the people to prevent the knife from stabbing him in his face. As a result, he was cut on his right thumb. The man allegedly continued to advance towards the cop who pulled his service pistol and fired three shots in the man's direction. The man dropped the knife and ran from the premises and fell along the roadway. He was found to be bleeding from the chest. And was taken, guess where? Right at the Port Antonio Park. Yes, people. Right, the same go. Big waste of time in the come. Leave this one alone. In the come. Leave this one alone. Boy, get where I'm deserve. Yes, he get exactly where I'm deserve. You understand? I don't feel like every police get gone for fire in the sky. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, slap the man, slap him boy. After you see man money, you look empty pocket now and a heart start jump. You never know, say I'm going to one casket. No, you never did know that. See the people right in our casket in Ganga lay down. You want to go on for one go on now. Me tell you, I got town. Popular photographer shot dead at home in his bed. Yes, people. In his bed, he get shot. At our go on for one go on. A popular photographer was shot dead at his home in St. Andrew on Tuesday. Another man is nursing gunshot wound from the incident. That is Dominic Davis. Yes, people. Davis operate under the professional name. Dom's media. Based on report reaching on news team, it is reported that Davis was shot dead at his home on Marvel Avenue off Malines Road at about 1 p.m. Davis was reportedly found dead in bed. Yes, people, in fine dead in a bed. Another man was found suffering from gunshot wood inside the house. Let's tell this so good now. We never said another man find in the bed. No, no, no. Me say another man was found suffering from gunshot wounds inside the house. He was taken to the hospital for treatment. His condition is unknown. Nobody not really a talk about him. Them only a talk about them friend when them know we're dead. You understand? Only for people a ball for them friend. So when you can't ball for you, you get shot too. Eh? Not because you know him. He's not dead yet. Or he's not dead. Anyway, let me go no more news here. Manchester police probing the fatal shooting possible link to Lottery's cabin. Superintendent Light Derby head of the Manchester police say Lottery's cabin is being looked at as a possible motive behind Saturday's fatal shooting of a man and Josie Plaza in Mandeville. We didn't know that long time. We been saying that long, long time. Me always tell you know, the police is the last to know. Anyway, Derby, come come tell the people them. Due to the delicate nature of the investigations and the early stages of the investigation, I would not elaborate on the on the arrest, but 
um, sufficiently to say that we are progressing with the investigations and we hope to reach a conclusion in at least two of these matters in short. The shooting incident at um, Duse Plaza, uh, any specific motive at, at this time? Because we, uh, the, word, the word on the street, something to do, a lot of scamming. Yes, we are exploring that possibility. We know that um, persons receive monies from from um, these institutions that are engaged in scamming. And so that is one factor that we are exploring. But we have not reached any conclusion as yet. We are relying on um, footage from Jamaica Eye to um, help us to identify the suspect in this matter. It is that way that is concerned. Watch me can deal with a little low life drunk right now from around Macaulay Lane. Yes, people. Imagine. Look how time hard and them the pan road are fling back here and back there. How much you want back about $20? And no one nobody come come say about them hungry you know. Them a little low life drunk over the police they just lap us over them. For the people they must see the full video. Yeah. We have the full video them can't show them. I see all the buckle clot what in our head though. I was stone this time. And if I buckle. One stone clot what in our head side. Me I tell you no. She said us not called cool, 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 cool. Yeah man. She should not get pronounced right there, sir.